Hello again. My name is Wes McDonald. I'm the author of the book, Let My Pastors Go. I want to tell you some reasons why you, you should read it. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I hate to talk about a book that I wrote, but really I can take no credit for it. God just let me read it. Uh, excuse me, to write it. And, um, and you know, we as Adventists, we're, uh, we, we have the message for the world, but we're not getting it out in the most effective way. Uh, our pastors are tied up in so much, uh, so much of their time is spent with just with the churches that that's not an effective way to get your message out. You know, if you were selling hamburgers and you wanted to sell more hamburgers, you would create more restaurants in places where you don't have restaurants. And that way you'd, you'd become rich. And so no businessman would use our current model of ministry to advance the church. We need to make more churches in areas where there are no churches and that means the pastors are going to have to be let go to do that. I want to talk to you a little bit about this book. Um, you know, uh, Elder Blanchard, Gary Blanchard, who's president of Northern New England uh, Conference, uh, he, I sent my manuscript to him, asked him to, re to review it for me as I was writing. And he called back and he said, um, Wes, I'd like to know if we, c if we could put this on the General Conference Youth Department a website. And I agreed, and he says, we can do it one of two ways. We can make it, uh, you know, if you want to sell your book, you can, we can do it that way, or, or you, you can make it for free. And by the way, a lot of people don't have credit cards. And I'd done enough world travel. I'd been in enough poor places of the world. I couldn't bear the thought of people not being able to get the message, the content of the book for lack of money. So I said, let's make it free. I'm so glad I did. And then one of my church members, C.J. Doss, uh, has built two websites for this book and for free hasn't charged me anything you can go to letmypastorsgo.com and if you have no money at all or if you prefer to read things electronically like on a Kindle app or on your device or your computer or whatever you can get it for free and the beautiful thing about getting this book f that way for free I, I mean I, if you just like a book you know, these are available. But for those of you who really kind of don't feel like you just have to have a book, there's a lot of advantages to the electronic versions because on the, on the downloadable PDFs, every reference citation, almost 100% of all reference citations have a link attached. And if you click on that, it, it'll be blue on the, on the PDF. If you click on it, it'll open up a web page to the exact place in Ellen White's writings on, on, online to where you can read that context, that, 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 that quotation in its original context. This is useful for students, for ministerial students, or for anyone who wants to be sure that Wes McDonald got the context correct and I didn't cheat. So you can check up on me. But you'll find it to be wonderful and you can educate yourself so much on that. Uh, it's available in more than one language, uh, English, Russian, Swahili, <laughs> and uh, right now, coming up soon, French and Spanish. And it's available in 8.5 by 11, which is our paper size here in the U.S., or, or A4, which is what the rest of the world uses, and also something that will work with a Kindle app. Uh, but all of this is available to you. There are things in here that I want to point out that are so critically important about in the content. In here, you will find um, a comparison between two world divisions where the model of ministry is the biblical way. Is the biblical way. There are two world divisions <coughs> where they do things the biblical way, where ministers are not assigned to churches at all. They're assigned to geographic territories in which they're to plant and evangelize. It doesn't mean that they never see the churches, but that's not their primary responsibility. I know of one place in uh, the South Africa Indian Ocean Division, which is one of them. The other one is the South America Division. But in the South Africa Indian Ocean Division, where there is one pastor in the, in the geographic territory and there are 90 churches. Obviously, he doesn't pastor 90 churches but he still has a little something to do with him, and once every other month, he has a meeting with only just the board members of the, all those churches. Can you imagine a camp meeting for board members? 
That's how I envision it. But that's just, but basically he spends his time there to plant and evangelize. And the South African Indian Ocean Division does that, and the South American Division does that, but the adjacent divisions do not. And when I compare the two that are demographically similar but adjacent, uh, there's a world of difference. You'll see all this, and you'll see how it works. It actually does work. I've got the proof. It's all right here. Uh, I, I can show you the difference between what happened in the North American Division, uh, these black graphs here. They, they show us how that uh, from we, when we began as a church, as an official church in 1863 up until 1932, when the very first official church manual came out and in there was actually printed officially the model of ministry which we have today, when that happened, everything went down. But, uh, but how in the first 69 years, the number of churches in North America grew by 18.3 times. The first 65 years. But the next 85 years, going up to 2017, the number of churches only grew by 2.4 times. Can you see that we're not accomplishing God's work? This book will tell you what needs to happen, steps that need to be taken. And it's written in such a way that children Young people, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth grade, can understand the idea. They can understand the concept. You don't have to be well-educated to understand the material, but that those who are well-educated, highly educated, doctorate degrees, master's degrees people, are not bored by the content. That's, I can take no credit for that. God just let me write this. Almost all of the quotations are going to be from an early pioneer or Ellen White or Bible quotes. I do not quote a lot of current authors, um, and that's intentional. I don't want to compare what I say with what somebody else says. I want to compare with what Ellen White says and the early pioneers and what they said against what the Bible says, and you'll find that there's total agreement. So my appeal to you is that um, uh, to get the material either online, letmypastorsgo.com, or uh, here where I'm speaking today at the Northern New England uh, Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, up where the work began. The work began here. Let it be finished here first. But get the book one way or the other. The conference has a supply of books, and uh, you can get it online, but read the book. And if you feel that it has value, you take the steps that you need to take to change the way you think about how we're using ministers and how our lay people need to step up to the plate. Uh, us lay people, we need to step up to the plate. But uh, God has blessed, and, um, and I've been able to give this message in many places around the world. Uh, every conference in Romania, uh, most of the work I've done in this in the last 20 years has been in communist or former communist areas, but only recently more has been done here in America. But I'm so pleased to be working with the, with the uh, administration here at Northern New England Conference. And friends, the work began here. Let it be finished here first. Let this be the leader to lead the way for the work in North America. Let it begin here because once once the work takes off here, others will look. They'll look at what you're doing for God, and you will make things happen elsewhere. And I want to thank you so much. May the Lord bless you.